All right, so now we're kind of picking it up a little bit. And what you have here, you can see I have 3x cubed plus 11x squared plus 4x plus 1 divided by now a uh, divisor that is not linear. This one is now quadratic because you can see my, uh, my leading term is squared, or my degree in this term is a 2, which is squared. So we're still going to apply the division algorithm. So I'm just going to rewrite this as x squared plus x. Make sure this is in descending order, divided by 3x cubed plus 11x plus 4x plus 1. So again, all we're going to do is take our first term or divisor when it's in descending order and divide into each one of our terms of our dividend. So x squared divides into 3x cubed. That's going to be a positive 3x times. Then I take my first term, my quotient, and make sure I multiply back by both terms of my divisor. So 3x times x squared is going to be 3x cubed. And 3x times x is going to be a 3x squared. That's a positive 3x squared. Then I subtract my two rows. Make sure when you subtract, you make sure you put them in parentheses. That means you're going to subtract both of your terms. 3x cubed minus a 3x cubed is a 0x cubed, which is just 0. 11x minus 3x is going to be a positive 8x squared. Now I divide again my first term into this next. So x squared divides into 8x squared, a positive 8 times. 8 times x squared is going to be a positive 8x squared. And 8 times x is going to be a positive 8x. I bring down my 4x, a positive 4x, to do my subtraction. Therefore, when I take my subtraction, I make sure I put in my parentheses to make sure I do not mess up at all. So 8x squared minus 8x squared is going to be a 0x squared, which is just 0. 4x minus 8x is going to be a negative 4x. Now we have a difficulty because our divisor has a larger power than our dividend. So therefore, x squared is not going to divide into a negative 4x. So we take down, so since we cannot divide any further, we're just going to bring down our final constant. And that is going to be our divisor, negative 4x plus 1. So how we write our quotient is we know that so far x squared plus x divides into 3x cubed plus 11x plus 4x plus 1, divides into it 3x plus 8 times with a remainder of negative 4x plus 1. And what we do with the remainder is we take that remainder and we divide it by our divisor. So here's our final answer. 3x plus 8 is going to be the quotient. And then plus your remainder over your divisor. Well, our, since our remainder, um, I'll just write it as is. So plus a negative 4x plus 1 divided by x squared plus x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you take a polynomial and divide it by another. Thanks.